Hey everybody, um, today I'm just going to sh quickly show you how I um, decorate the outside of these um, storage binders I just get at my local discount store. Um, this is where I keep all of my clear stamps. And the first thing I did was trim down the papers and stuff for my front cover. And those, I have a couple of the exact same binder and the measurements kind of varied from binder to binder. So you'll just need to kind of measure it and make sure that your paper will fit inside that clear covering on the front of your binder. And all I'm doing here is I cut a, a two inch wide strip and ran it through my cuddle bug just to give a little added dimension. You can't add a lot of embellishment since you're going to be placing this inside that um, protective plastic covering on the binder. So I like to use a little embossing and some fairly flat embellishments. So I'm just going to adhere that down the side of my um, cover and you can see I also cut a strip from a butterfly pattern paper that I'm placing along the embossed strip of paper and I punched a scallop border with my Stampin' Up! scallop border punch. That always adds a nice little detail to a project and that looks pretty good and I cut a really thin strip of some red paper there to add to the side. And then I really like this butterfly on this pattern paper and so I am going to go ahead and cut it out to use as uh, my focal point on my cover. Um, I wanted to cut a large circle to place the butterfly on and uh, none of my punches were quite big enough and I still have my colossal and I use it quite often. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut a couple of circles here for um, a base for my butterfly. And I'm just, I just had measured exactly where I wanted it so I'm going to go ahead and um, use the the cutting knife that comes with it and cut that out. And um, I cut one, I, I cut the uh, frame out of this white paper and then I'll cut the background here in just a second out of some green paper. I'm going to make sure that this, the butterfly will fit inside there really nice and that works. So then I'm going to use this uh, green polka dot paper to cut another circle. And I add a little adhesive to my uh, Colossal template because I find that, that way the template doesn't shift or anything while I'm cutting. I'm going to just carefully remove it when I'm done. And that adds a nice little bit of pop of color to the background. I'm going to go ahead and cut several more circles just like I did this only a little bit smaller just some accent circles for my cover and you can see that I've done a few here. I've added some embossing to a few of the uh, pieces as well just for a little added interest. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere all those circles to my background as soon as I kind of lay them all out and see where, where the, I like them on the cover. I just added a little adhesive to each of the pieces and I'm going to layer them all together and get the cover put together. Um, I decided that I needed a little bit of string around the border piece there, so I'm just going to wrap some string around it and tie it in a bow and then I'll uh, add a little bit of adhesive and stick it back down. And then I took some um, small gems and I'm just decorating uh, that butterfly border down the side there by placing a gem in the center of each of the butterflies. Just adds a nice little touch and it's not bulky so it'll fit inside my uh, cover just fine. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my big butterfly now 
And I wanted to add uh, a little something to my butterfly, and so I took some um, diamond stickles glitter glue, and I'm just filling in those white portions of the butterfly wings with the stickles. And um, it will need to sit and dry for quite a little bit, but it really adds just a nice little touch to the butterfly. And I went ahead and added some black stickles to the center of the butterfly and the butterfly antenna as well. Um, I took some additional butterfly punches and I'm just trying to figure out where I like them here. I punched out several more butterflies and I'm going to just adhere those to the remaining circles on my cover. And now it's time for the title of the binder and it's just going to say clear, uh, clear stamps so that when it's sitting on my shelf I can see that that's what's in it. And I took some uh, glitter uh, cardstock by Doodlebug, and I'm just going to run it through my Quick Cuts Revolution using this uh, Stardust alphabet and uh, adhere my title on this uh, piece I cut for the spine of my binder. And I used uh, some green glitter paper and also some blue. Just kind of a nice subtle texture and it kind of coordinate it coordinates well with the uh, butterflies I did on the front adding some glitter glue to them. And here you can see the alphabet as I punched it out. Just removing it and I'm going to add a butterfly to the spine of the binder as well to tie into the rest of the theme cute little butterfly punch and I need to adhere the elements so I'm just going to run my letters through the Xyron to get a, a sticky backing on them quick and easy way to make, create stickers and I'll add the uh, letters to the spine there and the little scallop piece I also cut some more circles with the Colossal and added a butterfly with some rhinestones. And that is my clear stamp storage binder. Looks much nicer decorated. Thanks for watching.